Hi, it's Steve Wiggett with Royal LePage Trial and Realty here in London, Ontario. Today's topic, appraisals. There's basically three kinds of appraisals out there and I'm going to touch on each of them. Number one would be the kind of appraisal that would be ordered by your financial institution or bank uh, to ensure they're comfortable uh, funding your purchase of your new home or condo. Now there's three ways they go about that. Number one, they can order appraiser to go on site to do an actual inspection of the property and that usually takes 20 to 30 minutes and that allows the appraiser to collect the, their room measurements and the data required to submit a report. Number two would be a drive-by appraisal which they'll look at the neighborhood and specifically the exterior of your home and use that as a proxy for the condition of the interior. So what they're uh, saying there is if they're happy with the outside then they're, they're figuring the inside is of uh, similar finishing. And the third is desktop appraisal and this is where the estimate is based upon data supporting valuation from third-party uh, info and they use postal codes uh, of neighborhoods in comparing similar properties with uh, similar uh, attributes and uh, they come up with the appraised value this way. Now the second kind of appraisal overall is the tax assessment authority in order to, to establish the tax base. MPAC reviews sales within a neighborhood to determine uh, value. Municipality then applies a mill rate based on these values and that's how they come up with the different taxation for different kinds of properties. Now number three would be supplied by a realtor and most realtors call these comparative market analysis. I like to call it a highest value analysis and this is a uh, uh, thorough report and what, what it would do would be to show you active listings that are similar to your property sold listings uh, within a reasonable amount of time, again similar to your property, and then expired ones, ones that did not sell. So using the data from these three uh, perimeters they can come up with a reasonable fair market value for your property. Now I like to call the active listings hope, that's what people hope they can get. The Really the best information would be with the sold listings, this is reality, this is what people will pay and expired those I like to call unrealistic because people will not pay that those listings expired and they did not sell. Any questions, comments, uh, criticisms send me an email leave a comment after this uh, video appreciate your time thanks for watching and have a great day